Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta. And today we will understand how to calculate sample size in case of structural equation model. So for this, we will go on Google and we will write out sample size calculator in SEM. We will click on the first link which is of the Daniel Sopper. Click on it. Let's make this 100%. Yeah. So you will get a free calculator here. It is a priori sample size calculator for structural equation model. This calculator will compute the sample size required for the study that uses the structural equation model SEM given the number of observed and latent variables in the model, the anticipated effect size and the desired probability and the statistical power levels. The calculator will return both the minimum size required to detect the specified effect and the minimum sample size required given the structural complexity of the model. So the first thing which you have to specify is the anticipated effect size. The minimum absolute anticipated effect size we have to specify by convention. These values can be 0 0.1, 0 0.3 and 0.5. So 0 0.5 is for the small effect size, 0 0.3 the medium and 0 0.5 for the large. So let's keep this as 0 0.3. Desired statistical power level. This also we will have to specify by convention. This value should be greater than 0 0.80. Higher values, the values which are higher than 0 0.80 will give me more accurate results. Now comes number of number of latent variables. Let's go in MS and try to understand what are the latent variables. Basically, they are unobserved variables, the hidden variables. One, two, three, four, five. All constructs are my latent variables. Again, I'll go on the website and I'll specify here. This is five. Number of observed variables, that is they are measured variables. Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So all uh, variables which are in square, they are known as measured variables and we will insert that number here. So here it is 20. And we will have to specify the probability level. So also known as a p-value, alpha level or type 1 error rate. By convention, this value should be less than or equal to 0 0.05 to claim the statistical significance. Now just press calculate and wait for some time. So minimum sample size to detect the effect is 150. Minimum sample size for the model structure is 100 and the recommended sample size is 150. So this is a way you can calculate the sample size for the structural model uh, required in MS. For more videos on SPSS MS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on SPSS MS. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the like button.